Hello YouTube, figured I would do a build update for my league starter of the league. Um, I am currently at level 92, playing TS, I switched from Lightning Arrow to TS, and I've made some build adjustments from the normal TS. So, in my build I was lacking single target damage with the Wildwood empowerment stuff. So I figured I would just kind of copy and paste the new Jung Rowan cast on crit detonate dead tech. So I have the Reign of Arrows of Saturation with Mana Forged Arrow support with Desecrate and cast on critical strike and detonate dead of chain reaction all linked. And then I have a Volatile Dead of Seething that I switch out. That's kind of one of my secondary and then my main skill is still Tornado Shot and this... I feel like it helps quite a bit with single target damage with like the empowered wisp people. It's uh you know I have a showcase a video coming up for that. I also have these two specters, so one gives me determination, the other one gives me wrath. And then I have them linked to Meat Shield, Elemental Army, and Minion Life Support. So they kind of just give me two more buffs and then I run Herald Device, Precision, and Anger. So I I get two damage or auras and then I get a determination aura. I should probably run grace instead of anger, but you know, it is what it is. And then on my tree, I went for a lethal pride to give me strength to cover my strength requirements because they're quite annoying to get otherwise. And then I have one that deals like double damage. I have gain endurance charge on kill about 10%, so that's how I'm generating endurance charges. Life damage nodes. Um, and then I have a cluster jewel with martial prowess, arcing shot, streamlined, and repeater. And then I went up here for a inspire learning. I had to allocate resourcefulness to get the four nodes in here. And then got one more frenzy and power charge and then my inspire learning is working that way and then i guess i have an extra note up here that i didn't even see so i can i'm gonna take that note away and then probably put that node into i don't know maybe something down here with prod speed uh, or more life so you're probably wondering if you don't do the frenzy chart the frenzy cast uh, with mana forge arrows and then power charge on critical how are you generating your charges? How are you getting frenzy and power charges to get up to four now that we have those two nodes? Well, I went to the charms for that because I'm using the cast on crit, detonate dead. And then I'm using the specters. And I'm kind of starved for sockets right now because I have my movement skills and I have all my auras and my mark on hit up here. So, And for my charms, I'm just using... You know, gain power charge on critical strike and for and phasing for four seconds on kill, evasion rating per frenzy charge, and seven percent chance to gain a frenzy charge on hit, uh, more evasion rating per frenzy charge, and then also flat crit strike chance while at maximum power charges. So I have my frenzy charge generation and then I have my power charge generation. My base crit chance is kind of garbage uh let's see if i can find it yeah 31.25 percent even with max everything i think it only gives up to like 50 percent i'm not very good at scaling crit chance yeah, that's something i could work on get better at but overall it still feels fine to me so i think playing the build and feeling how it feels is better than crunching numbers in pob because numbers only go so far i'm probably Soon after this video, gonna swap over to the new rage tech, rage generation tech with Warlord, and then a couple other adjustments to the build, and see how that does. I do enjoy this. This is like dead and dead. I think it, I do expedition on my on my atlas, which I will also do a video about later. But it it makes clearing expeditions easy. It just I, I feel like it just makes the whole wildwood and overtuned BS smoother. It is a glass cannon build, so you'll still get one shot sometimes. But um, I think you'll see in the map showcase that I show, I die. But yeah, it's generally only like once or twice per map, unless something's super juiced. Because I am running Delirium mirrors, mirrors as well, so they're empowered by Delirium, and then they're also empowered by Wildwood, so...
yeah nothing too crazy and then i got flask here with grand life recovery to minions because i have specters yeah that being said i appreciate you guys watching along stay tuned for my atlas strategy guide video that i'll be posting later either today or tomorrow or the next day but otherwise that's all from me and as always goodbye exiles